God is saying to someone today, be bold. If you are seeing this today, God wants you to see this. Hello and shalom. God bless you all richly in the name of Jesus. If today is your first time of seeing, my name is Divine. God bless you. You are welcome. The word of God says in Jeremiah 1, when you read for verse 4, I'm going to cut it short for time's sake. Okay. He said, the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed thee in thy belly, I knew thee, and before thou was created from their mother's womb, I satisfied thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. When you read verse 7, because of time, he said, But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I commanded thee to say, speak. Verse 8 said, Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Be bold and be encouraged. Be bold and be strong. The word of God says you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. The word of God says he has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of sound mind. There are some certain people today that is going to be coming across this video that God has assigned to do that business, to do that job, to do that work. But fear has been gripping you. You can't do this. You can't do this has been gripping you. Just like when God has Moses to go to Pharaoh. Moses was so afraid of Pharaoh and Moses was so afraid and ashamed that I can't speak. I'm a stammerer. I can't speak where I'm a stammerer. But God knows that you can do it before God has assigned you to do it. Child of God, be bold and be encouraged in the Lord all the time. When God asks you to do it because he knows that you can do it. God knows that you were a prostitute before. God knows that you were an robber before. God knows that you were a liar before. God knows that you cannot do it. You don't have that strength. But God says, you will open your mouth, I will fill it up. I'll send you, I will be with you, I will deliver you. Don't be afraid of their faces. Don't be afraid of their faces. If you want to look at the world, you will be afraid of some certain words and certain things that will come your way. But if you want to go, that God has sent me, I am going because I carry the name of Jesus inside of me. Hallelujah. He's going to back you up. Child of God, I don't know what you have been sleeping on. I don't know that place that God is trying to push you out of that comfort zone that you refuse to live. I don't know what God has been assigning you to do. I don't know that place that God wants you to start, but you are looking at it small. I don't know the business and the, the person that God has assigned you. This is going to be your husband. This is going to be your wife. But you are just looking the way it is right now. But God wants you to go. Obey and see what God will do. You know what God is sending you. You know what God is placing in your heart. You know what God, that idea that God is giving to you. You are allowing what God has made you to, to have dominion over. Being afraid of fear. The word of God, you, you are being afraid of them. To the extent of you not taking step. And the word of God says, you shall tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the paths of the enemies. He said, nothing shall by enemies hurt you. He said, go, I have overcome the word for you. And he said, go, I have overcome the word for you. Why are you afraid? Today, kill the fear. Receive boldness. Receive strength to go and do exploit. Pursue, overtake, and recover all to God's glory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be bold and be strong in the Lord. Amen.